having way too many boxes. So here's the dilemma. I've got tons of these boxes for accessories and tons of these normal boxes. And I mean, they're just too nice to throw away, but I, I don't need them. So what do I do with these? I don't know. Dumb Rubik's brand designs, like seriously? So I don't know who thought this Rubik's Phantom was a good idea, but you can pretty much only mix it up and scramble it one time and then solve it. But then it, the colors are already there. So why wouldn't I just solve a normal Rubik's cube at that point? Cause this thing takes like two or three minutes to like decolor itself, even if I throw it in the freezer. So it's like, why would I waste time doing that when I can just solve like a normal Rubik's cube? It's cool, but not practical. Hate it. Cubes being way too delicate. These GAN cubes are literally so fragile. I dropped this one one time. All of these center caps broke. The thing barely even turns anymore. I don't even know what to do with this. Expensive cubes being way too easy. I spent 10 bucks on this cube thinking it was actually hard to solve. And well, it takes like three turns total. So low key, I just wasted money, but also it spins. So, running out of fuel, you know what I mean. Cubes being too sharp. This cube was literally way too sharp for me to even solve on. So I downgraded the sharpness to this Lego Rubik's Cube and it's even sharper. Gosh dang it. Really bad factory color schemes. Okay, so the Thunderclap V1 and then the, man, the Yushin something. So these color schemes are literally so bad. I mean, this is like not even the right red and compared to something like the RS3 MV5, you can really see the difference in, you know, how different the colors are. And I get it, you're trying to be different, but nobody wants that. Come on guys, seriously? Sun damage. This one sucks. I left this cube in the sun for like 10 minutes and the pieces are already like coming apart. Like I try to push them together. I think they just kind of like melted or fused wrong. Like seriously, make your plastic stronger guys. Stepping on cubes. This is probably just a me problem. I have stepped on this cube over a dozen times in my foot has been constantly hurting because of this thing. Seriously? Why does it have to be so sharp? Losing your cubes? Again, probably just a me problem. Not me using a 7x7 seven seven as a 3x3 three three because I can't find any of my 3x3s. Three I, mean, I don't even know what to do. Even more accessory boxes. Short form content like this? Sorry. Seriously, guys? Actually, I can't say anything. I do make these videos. Sorry. Ugh. Way too delicate of stickers on cubes. So I don't let myself solve this cube anymore because they don't make these stickers anymore. And my fingernail always catches like the sticker and, you know, just rips it off. Also, I get all of these black markings from storing this like next to black cubes. Like they rub and then it just gets black markings on it. Like. You can't keep these things nice, guys. It's so difficult. Literally half of my cubes are sun damaged. This sucks. So another sun problem. I left this box in the sun and like, it doesn't even close all the way anymore. Like, I don't get it why they make this plastic so thin. Oh. It's too hard making new stickers look good. It is so hard to re-sticker cubes. Like, just look at all these bubbles that I get like all over these pieces. It's just too hard to avoid not doing that. And I don't know how to fix that. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. A similar problem, way too many screwdrivers. I literally have a collection of about 600 of these. Stop sending them in every single puzzle. Come on, who doesn't have a screwdriver? Faded cubes. Seriously guys, be careful of this. 
So I got this Rubik's snake maybe 10 years ago, and it looks cool, right? It's like tan and brown, but this used to be white. So I guess that kind of just goes to show if you have any stickerless cubes, leave them in a dark space because this in a few years will look like this. Damn it, son, come on. Square one in general, sorry. A lot of you guys are gonna hate me, but I absolutely hate square one, um, mainly because I can't solve it, but also have you looked at the number of algorithms that this thing has? Like, it is humanly impossible to learn all of those and remember them. Like, man, yeah. I'm just, I'm salty because I can't solve this in full honesty. Lube's not staying very long in your cube. I don't know about you guys, but I literally have to loop my puzzles about once a week. I don't know if it's just because like I have a really hard, rough turning style or because I turn way too fast, but the lube in these cubes dry up so fast, like way faster than they used to. Are you guys having this problem too, or is it just me? Cubes going bad, again, might just be me. So I don't know what the problem is with these old cubes, but this is the Moe Uesu and it used to be so good, but it's just been sitting in a box for like three years. And literally the turning has gotten so bad and I don't know why, it was like, it's been sitting, it should have been good still, right? Nope. If anyone knows why this happens, let me know. Hard to make custom cubes. I don't know how many of you guys tried making these tack Rubik's cubes, but literally every 10 seconds, the tacks like fall off. I've tried like three or four different types of glue, but I think it's the plastic material. It just doesn't adhese very well. Adhesion, adhesion, adhese. Man, I don't even know words. Sudoku cubes and any other puzzle like this. Puzzles like this make me so mad. Like, I don't even know how to do Sudoku in the first place, so. How am I supposed to do this? All right, here's 20 minutes after using the Rubik's Phantom. Update, this has been sitting for like 20 minutes and it still has not gone black. It's not changed one bit. Bad lubes, be careful about what you buy, guys. I don't know who invented this new type of lube, but it literally does not work in my cubes. For example, I can't even turn this thing anymore. It's just stuck. I don't know. Don't buy this stuff, guys. It does not work. I've had three of these and they're all like this. Okay, I hate these robot stands. Like I literally put the glass on, like it doesn't even stay in. How am I supposed to like set this up if it's always like falling apart? Seriously? Who designed this? Also, you can't put Duplo Legos on here. Like these literally look perfect for Duplos. It just doesn't fit.